So hey, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a new PC. Well, wait, friends, <laughs> don't just build a new PC. There's a couple of things I think you should think about. Hey guys, and welcome to Back Beyond Tech. I've had a haircut, you might have noticed. Feeling much better about that. So, yeah, you're gonna build a new PC. Well, there's two things I always think about when I'm building a new PC, and they probably aren't the first things that spring to mind. They're not very sexy, but I think if you think about these two things, you're gonna end up with something that actually works for you and isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So, number one is why are you building a computer at all? I mean, what do you need a computer for? Do you need a machine that just plays games? Do you need a machine that is going to do productivity as well as play games or just purely productivity orientated? Do you need a machine that's just gonna sit there and serve data to the rest of your household? Now all these things are really important and you should really spend some time thinking about them. I mean, basically, if all you want is a gaming machine, that's gonna dictate what chip you spend, uh, what chip you buy, sorry, probably what platform you're gonna be on, um, you know, what other functions you want, like, you know, do you really need to spend four or 500 pounds or dollars on a chip that gives you sort of 30, 40 PCI lanes? Probably not if all you're gonna do is game, right? So really think about that question. Why do I need a new PC? What do I want my PC to do? And I think once you've thought about that, you know, and maybe just sit down and write down what you're going to do on your computer. And I mean, damn man, if you're just playing games now and again, then yeah, you, you probably don't need to buy an i5 or an i7. <clears throat> you, you know, then again, if you if you go through your list and you're like, oh, I render, I render out videos. Oh, all right, I do a bit of 3D work. I do this, that and the other. I'm working with audio and I'm gaming quite a lot. It's like, yeah maybe you do need to go with an i7, maybe you need to go with a higher variant i7, maybe you should be looking at one of the Haswell E chips or something like that, or maybe even getting a Xeon, an old Xeon with a high core count. So think about it, really think about it. Um, <clears throat> once you spend a couple of days thinking about that question and you're pretty sure what you need a computer for, then you can start looking at chips and platforms and at the same time you're doing that, then you've got to start thinking about the next big thing, and that is how much money are you going to spend? You know, if you come, if you answer your first question, you're like, man, I just want to build a gaming rig. Right, fine. I want to build a gaming rig. I've got 800 pounds or a thousand dollars. It's like, right, so let's see about 30, 35% of that is going to be GPU. So then you, you're left with a chunk of money that you need to buy a case with maybe, a power supply, a chip, a motherboard, storage. You know, whereas if you want a machine that's just gonna serve data, like I mentioned earlier, it's like, do I need a discrete graphics card? No, I don't. So then you can siphon off more of your budget to the more important parts of the build. So guys, that's really it. Um, for me, those are the two most important things that you've got to look out for. Why are you building a computer? Once you know why you're building a computer, it's gonna be really easy to make that next choice, which is where am I going? What kind of chip do I need? What platform do I need to be on? And again, when you're making those decisions, you're gonna be thinking about budget. Um, you know, and you need to be, I think you definitely, you need to rein yourself in, be realistic, you know, don't, you don't need to spend a huge amount of money to game, basically, if that's what you're gonna do. And equally, you don't need to spend a huge amount of money if you want a rendering machine. Uh, it's when you get into the realms of, I want one machine that does everything, um, that's when it gets difficult because the cost of things is gonna go up, um, you know, because you're gonna want all those extra features. You're gonna want U.2 and N.2 and 40 PCIe lanes, <coughs> pardon me. You know, and you're gonna want a really powerful GPU. And if you're in that boat, um, then you're kind of balls, you know, you're balls to the wall anyway, so you're just gonna have to spend the money basically. But guys, I hope you find this video interesting. I hope you find this video useful. I know it's probably not what a lot of you expected. And you know, you probably expected me to talk a lot about it. Buy this chip for this, buy that chip for that. This is the chipset you need to be on. This is the ultimate budget graphics card. And really, 
When you start thinking about building a PC, you don't need to think about any of those things. You need to spend some time thinking about, number one, what your computer is going to be for, what are you going to do in your computer, and then number two, <clears throat> once you've decided that, is how much money do I have to spend? And those two things are going to define where you're going to go, basically. So guys, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. If you disliked it, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. There's been quite a few more comments recently. It's been interesting. I try to answer them all. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. Even if I'm at work, I can get back to you on my phone. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And don't forget to tune in to the next video where I'm going to be announcing the winner, the winners of the games that I'm giving away on Sunday. Have a great weekend and don't forget to mash that subscribe button. Bye now.